Have you ever got halfway through your production and suddenly realized that your tempo is not quite right? Well, it doesn't matter in Cubase because at any point in time, we can change the tempo, which will change MIDI and audio. In this video, we're going to take a look at how you can quickly set your project up so that you can change the tempo at any point. You can change the tempo at any point just simply by going down to the bottom of the project window and clicking in the tempo settings box and you just type in a new tempo. Now when I hit play, I can hear that something's not quite right. And it appears to be that my MIDI has decided to follow the new tempo that I've specified. So that's all locked in and changing as it should. But the problem now is that my audio is not following my new tempo. So this is the problem we need to fix. And it's a very easy problem to fix. I'm going to start by going back to the original tempo. And you can even see that those events have changed. Now I'm going up to the media menu and selecting open pool window. And in the pool window, I can see every audio file that I've recorded throughout the process of this production. I could select just one of these files, but I'm going to select all of them. And as soon as all of them are selected, I just click on this box here to put them all into musical mode. Note that I'm leaving the two audio files associated with my sampler track out. I can continue to play my track at the normal tempo. Now I can't believe you're saying this is all you but I can also go down to my tempo settings and change the tempo. And now everything in my track is going to play at the new tempo. So that's pretty cool, but let's go to the other extreme now and speed the track right up. So it's not just great for changing the tempo during production, this kind of stuff is also amazing for remixes. If you're importing stems and you want the stems at a different tempo, just go and put them into musical mode and start changing the tempo and everything is locked into the tempo of your project. Now we can have multiple tempos in a project. You just need to create a tempo track. So a tempo track means that we can draw in tempo changes. Now I'm just moving my tempo track up to the top of my project here. And now using my mouse, I can start to draw in tempo changes. So it's really simple to have multiple tempo changes, which may not be that relevant for contemporary pop music, but if you're working with, say, orchestral music or you know, even film scoring, then it may be necessary for you to speed a track up and slow it down. It's also a technique that's used quite a lot in electronic music to drop a track down and then kick it back in again. Thanks for taking the time to stop by and check out this video. If you like it, please give us a thumbs up and subscribe to the Cubase YouTube channel for plenty more videos just like this. I'll see you there.